Now let's say that you made the most beautiful tile set in the world. Hey, I said beautiful. Yeah, that's better. You export it into Unity and you are ready to make your tiny little world. You add the tiles to a tile palette, you create a tile map and start drawing. You start testing it in the game and... Oh no! What happened? How dare they ruin my tiles! My beautiful, beautiful tiles! Basically, if you've ever tried making anything with 2D tiles in Unity, you probably know what this nasty thing is. If you can't see it on your screen, I'll zoom in a bit. And here. When you move your camera around, there seem to be some invisible lines between your tiles. But why does it happen? You might think that the problem is with slicing the tiles. But no, actually there is nothing to the left, right or, you know, anywhere. There is no invisible pixel here hiding anywhere. So why do they appear and most importantly, how do you get rid of them? If you tried searching for a solution, you probably came along a suggestion to change the pixels per unit of your texture. See, in this case it worked, but usually it doesn't. And another solution could be to change the grid size. And in this case it yet again works. Now if it doesn't work for you or you want to have accurate numbers in your project, then let's take a look at what actually causes this problem. The issue is right here, in Photoshop or well generally in our image, there is nothing to the right of this tile. And that is exactly where we see the invisible lines in the game. Now why does Unity do that? I don't know, but I know a solution to it. What you need to do is to fill that pixel in. So here I just take the pixel to the left, copy it and move it to the right. Now let's replace our tileset image and see if it works. And it indeed does. Now how you will implement it in your game is up to you. For example, you could make use of Unity's padding and then you just need to place each tile one pixel away from each other and fill in the gaps as shown before. But that will still leave you with a lot of white space, because Unity likes textures the dimensions of which are a power of 2. For example 64 by 64, 256 by 256 and so on. Me personally, I decided to stop caring about optimizing for 0.05 FPS increase, and that's why I just don't care how much space the tiles will take anymore, as long as it's comfortable for me. So here you can see that this space could be used, this space could be used, this could be used, but it all consists of those bleeding pixels. And I made them bigger so that I can see them well. As a result, yes, I waste a lot of the space on the texture, but in the end I don't have those stupid invisible lines in my game and I don't waste a lot of time aligning the tiles. And that's it for today. If this video was useful to you or if you want to see that game that I showed you earlier to be released sooner, please consider supporting me on Patreon by clicking here. Every single dollar will bring me closer to becoming a full-time game developer and spending more time doing what I love. Anyway, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.